Again, this lecture is covered the sign test. Our main objective is to use the sign test to test the population media. We're also going to use this test sample sign test to test the difference between two population medians. So a sign test is a non-parametric test, which is a hypothesis test that does not require any specific condition concerning the shape of the population or the value of any population parameters. So with regard to parametric tests, we know one of the main condition is the population distribution must be normal. So we have to check for the normality distribution in parametric tests. Now with non-parametric tests, we said here, there is no any required specific condition, no any required. And also, the values of the population parameters, there's no conditions for it also. Also, generally, it's easier to perform than parametric tests and usually less efficient than parametric tests. So again, a sign test is a non-parametric test that can be used to test a population media against hypothesized value K. Now, if the left tail test, we say the HO, or the null hypothesis, the media should be greater than or equal to K. The HA, which is the alternative hypothesis, the media should be less than K. Now, if it's a right tail test, the media should be less than or equal to K for the null hypothesis, the HO, and HA, the media should be greater than K. Now, if it's a two tail test, then the null hypothesis, the HO, the media is equal to K, and HA, the media not equal to K. So to use the sign test, each entry is compared with the hypothesis media K. And if the entry is below the media, normally the media will be the cream. If the entry, the data is below the media, then we assign negative. Now, if the entry is above the media value, then we assign positive sign. Now, if the entry is equal, which means the media and the entry data is equal, then we assign zero. Now we compare the number of positive and negative signs. Now, if our sample size is less than or equal to 25, then the test that it is will be the X for the sign test is the smaller number of positive or negative. So if positive is less than negative, then we use the number as the test that it takes value. Otherwise, the opposite. This is only if the sample size is less than or equal to 25. Now, if the sample size is greater than 25, then we use the Z formula here. Z equal to S plus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 times N divided by square root of n divided by two. So again, s will be the smaller number of positive or negative signs. And n is the sample size. So first thing we need to do to perform a sign test for a population media, we need to state the claim. That is to identify the known and also the alternative hypothesis. Then we need to specify the level of significance. Normally, this value will be given to us, the alpha value. Then we need to determine the sample size n by assigning the positive signs and negative signs to the sample data. So as we said earlier, if the media, the claim value is greater than the, the data en entry, then again, we assign negative. If it's less than the data entry, the media is less, we assign negative. Now, if they are equal, we assign zero. Then next, we need to determine the critical value. We determine that critical value, if n is less than or equal to 25, we use table eight. If n is greater than 25, we use table four. Because when n is greater than 25, we are going to find a Z value, which is given here, calculate the test statistics, if n is less than or equal to 25, we use the x value. The x value will be the smaller value of the positive or negative. But if n is greater than 25, we find a z value. Then we use this value again to get the critical value in the table. 
Next, we make a decision to reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. So normally, if the test statistics value is less than or equal to the critical value, then we reject HO. But if the test statistics value is greater, then we fail to reject HO. That's if the test statistics value is greater than the critical value, we fail to reject HO. So let's see an example. Here we see a bank manager claims that the median number of customers per day is no more than 750. So that would be our claim, 750, and it's a median value, median number of customers. Now, a teller doubts the accuracy of this claim. So the number of bank customers per day for 16 randomly selected days are listed below. At alpha equal to 0 0.05, can the teller reject the bank manager's claim? So here we have 16 different days, and we have number of customers for each cell for the each 16 days. And we have again our claim value. So our media is 750. So here we can use the sign test. The so first we state our HO and HA. Uh, the bank manager said the customers at most will be 750. Uh, we, they serve per day. So the media will be less than or equal to 750 for null hypothesis. That is the claim. Now, alternative hypothesis will be media greater than 750. Alpha value is given to us, and this is our data for 16 days, number of customers served for 16 days. So here we can assign our positive, negative, and possible zero. And we have only one zero. Why? Because the data entry 750 is equal to the claim 750. For example, here we have positive Y. We said if the data entry value is greater than the claim, then we positive. If the data entry value is less than the claim, then we have negative. So we have three negative, 742 is less than 750. Also 739 is less than 750. And here will be 745 is less than 750. Now the data entry, 751 is greater than 750, so it's positive. So now we count the number of positive and negative. We have three negatives and 12 positive. So our sample size now will be 12 plus three, which is 15. We again omit the zero, we don't count the zero. So next we know our alpha value is 0 0.05. And since n is less than, less than or equal to 25, which is 15, we can use our table eight. So we go to the sample 15 and alpha 0 0.05, the value there is three. So the critical value is three. Next, we need to find the test statistics. Now, since the sample size is less than or equal to 25, and the negative is only three, that's the lowest sign value. Positive is 12 too high, so we use three. We say we use the smaller number of positive or negative signs and three negative signs is the smallest. So now we can make a decision now. The critical value is the same as the test that it is. So we are going to reject H. So here we say at 5% level of significance, the teller can reject the bank manager's claim that the median number of customers per day is no more than 750. Because in our test, the test that it is value is three. And also we go back, the critical value also is three. So using the sign test, we have another example here. A car dealership claims to give customers a media trading offer of at least 6,000. So again, media trading of 6,000. Now a random sample of one and three transaction revealed that the trading offer for 60 automobiles were less than 6,000. So this would be again negatives. And then the trading offer for 40 mobiles was more than 6,000. So it seemed like three is left. So the three will be the same 6,000, 6,000. So three is omitted. 
offer value is given to us. Now the question is, can we reject the dealership claim? So we can start with our HO and HA. Again, the claim said the media should be greater than or equal to 6,000. So the HA will be less than 6,000. Alpha is given to us, 0 0.01. The critical value N is greater than 25 because here we have 100. So here we have to find our critical value. Uh, from the table, we can get negative 2.33. Now to get the test value, test statistics, remember now the sample size is greater again than 25. Now based on the question, we're going to get 60 negative, uh, 40 positive. I think I had it opposite, 60 negative, because based on, let's look at the question. Based on the question, they said at random sample of 103 transaction revealed that the trading offer for 60 automobiles was less than $6,000 less. And then the rest 40 was more. So that's why again, is less, so negative system will be less. We say if the value, the data entry is less than the claim that we assign negative. And more than the claim was 40. So we have 60 for negative, 40 for positive. Now, when we had the two together, the sample will be 100. So beginning of the question say one run three, but they gave us more than 60 for 40, Less than sixty, um, less than six thousand uh, for sixty, uh, more than six thousand for forty. So one or three, the three left will be six thousand equal. So now we are using the lesser value for x, which is forty. Then we can find the z value, forty plus zero point five, minus zero point five times hundred, over square root of hundred divided by two. Our answer is negative 1.9. So you can see that negative 1.9 is greater than uh, zero, uh, negative 2.33. So here we are going to fail to reject HO. Now, our previous question, we reject HO. We can reject HO if, again, the test statistics is less than or equal to the critical value. Here we can see that the test statistics, negative 1.9, is greater than the critical value negative 2.33. So we fail to reject H. So we we'll say that at the 1% level of significance, you cannot reject the dealership claim. So next, the pair sample sign test. And normally the pair sample sign test is used to test the difference between two population medias when the populations are not normally distributed. Now, if the populations are normally distributed, uh, we can test the, mid, the mean, we can use the t-test. Uh, other t-test independent sample, which means they came from different, and the two samples came from different population, or the pair sample t-test, the same population. So here we say for the pair sample sign test, to be used, the following must be true. First, a sample must be randomly selected from each population. And also the sample must be dependent, which means it's a pair sample. The sample came from the same population. Then the difference between the corresponding data entries is found and the sign of the difference is recorded. So how do we perform how do we perform the pair sample sign test? First, again, we state the claim. We identify the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis, HO and HA. Then we specify the level of significance, the alpha value. Then we're going to determine the sample size n by finding the difference for each data pair. Assign a positive sign for the positive difference and also negative sign for negative difference, and then zero for no difference. The next, we determine the critical value, and also we find the test statistics. Then we make a decision either to reject or fail to reject null hypothesis. 
normally if the test statistics is less than or equal to the critical focal value, we reject HO. Otherwise, we are going to fail to reject HO. Then we interpret our results or the decision. So example is given to us. Here they say a psychologist claimed that the number of repeat offenders will increase if their first time offenders complete a particular rehabilitation course. Uh, sorry, the number of offenders will decrease. A psychologist claimed that the number of repeat offenders will decrease if first time offenders complete a particular rehabilitation course. So you randomly select 10 prisons and record the number of repeat offenders during the two year period. Then after first time offenders complete the course, you record the number of repeat offenders at each prison for another two years period. The results are shown on the next slide. So this is a pair sample scientist because same offenders that we test first time after the duration and the program they went through, we are going to test them again. So this is the data given to us. We have the prison, one up to 10 prisons before the program, after the program. So those are the data given to us. So we need to state our HO and HA. Here we say our HOB, the number of repeat offenders would not decrease. And HA will be the number of repeat offenders will increase. So now we need to assign our positive and negative values. So the difference before 2919, and then we have positive, negative, positive, 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 the rest is positive. We can see before the values are all bigger. So 40 is bigger, greater than 21 positive, 33 is greater than 17 positive. We have only one negative, which is nine is less than 16, four values less than the after value. So after that, this is the sign again, the same thing. We have a value is given to us. And based on this, we can come up with our sample size. We have nine positive and one negative. So sample size is nine, 10, sorry. Nine plus one is 10. Then we can find our critical value using the table. Uh, here we have N is 10 and alpha is 0 0.025. So our critical value is one. Next, we need to find our test statistics. Uh, X is one, which because that is a smaller number of positive or negative signs. And the sample size also is less than 25. So we use the test statistics as equal to one. Now, since the test statistics is less than the critical value, I think the critical value was no, the same, either it's less than or equal, then we are going to again reject the HO. So at 2.5% level of significance, you can support the psychologist's claim that the number of repeat offenders will decrease. So that will be the conclusion of our lecture. So again, in these lectures, uh, we saw some few examples on how to use a sign test to test the population media, and also how to use the pair sample sign test to test the difference between two population medias. Again, thank you and see you in the next lectures.